Hi, this is Dr. Bob. Welcome to part one of our educational series on E202 as a monitoring tool for safe rapid sequence intubation, where we talk about gas exchange principles. Let us focus on the most simplistic view of gas exchange, which occurs within the alveolar unit. Mixed venous blood that enters the alveolar unit consists of a high partial pressure of carbon dioxide, while the partial pressure of oxygen is low. As the blood travels through the unit, equilibration of CO2 and O2 occurs. The diffusion of gases travels across two very small membranes, the capillary and alveolar membranes. Note, the diffusion capabilities of CO2 are much greater than O2, and therefore equilibration will occur earlier within the unit. Nearing the end of the alveolar unit, equilibration of both gases is accomplished. At this point, oxygenated blood returns to the heart so it can be circulated back to the tissues. The gases that were exchanged in the alveoli will then be exhaled during respiration. It is important to remember that balance between ventilation and perfusion is needed for optimal gas exchange. In addition, any abnormalities to heart or lung function may affect changes of the partial pressures of CO2 and O2 as well as our end tidal measurements. Now, let us change our attention to the circulation throughout the body with emphasis on oxygen delivery. As blood leaves the heart, it is predominantly bound to hemoglobin with a small fraction being dissolved within the plasma. The amount of blood saturated by oxygen is reflected as SaO2. Oxygen binding to red blood cells follows a sigmoidal curve known as the oxygen saturation dissociation curve. It is important to know that at high degrees of oxygen saturation, very large changes in the partial pressure of oxygen will result in minimal changes to the saturation values. As oxygenated blood is delivered to the tissue, there is a balance between oxygen delivery and oxygen consumption. Oxygen delivery, denoted as DO2, can be calculated from knowledge of oxygen saturation, hemoglobin concentration, and cardiac output. As blood leaves the tissue beds, Oxygen has been extracted based on the oxygen consumption needs, termed VO2. This blood is termed mixed venous and returns to the heart in order for reoxygenation to occur within the alveolar unit. The expiratory phase of the respiratory cycle affords one the ability to measure end tidal gas measurements for both O2 and CO2. 